What brings you joy in life, fills your soul with the happiest of feelings, and makes your life worth living? I don't think that making TikTok videos of yourself and seeking the likes and comments of strangers counts. Seeking validation online is a means to get your emotional needs of feeling validated temporarily met, but as we can see, millions of young people are spending a lot of their free time posing and scrolling. When you're 40, are you going to look back at your life and think, it was so great when I was attractive and random people were entertained that I could bounce a ping pong ball into a cup? Unlikely. The things that we reflect on are often the moments where we were able to watch ourselves grow. Learning new skills or knowledge that benefits our lives makes us better people. Moments that we share with others that deepen our relationships and create lasting memories together. The journey is more important than the destination. It's painful for me to watch people spending all their excess energy trying to be liked for meaningless things because the destination of this journey is feeling like you're only respected for an attractive young body, a future where instead of continuing our journey into ourselves, we found a technological life hack for feeling artificial love. If you spend all your time socializing behind a screen, you slowly forget how to interact authentically in person and you start relationships, not because you feel connected to someone, but because you prove your worthiness by being funny and like and then you split up because you assume your partner was the problem. Every social media outlet is adapting the same strategy and is cross-posting videos from all different places. TikTok, Facebook videos, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, it's all the same super addictive content designed to keep you scrolling endlessly. A 2018 University of Pennsylvania study found that reducing social media use to 30 minutes a day resulted in a significant reduction in levels of anxiety, depression, loneliness, sleep problems, and FOMO. I'm not claiming to be perfect, and I open up these apps from time to time, but it's important to understand the toxic effects that our addiction to our phones has on our lives. I only scroll for about a minute before I remind myself, turn off your phone and go do something that brings you joy or meaning. Creating these videos right now and sharing this information with you is meaningful to me. Interestingly enough, our bodies have a way of telling us when enough is enough. When I was in my late 20s, I was having wrist pains and eye strain from staring at screens too much, and I have friends who have suffered from similar problems. There are emotional and physical problems resulting from too much screen time, and I imagine we're going to be seeing a lot more of them in the coming years. 